Yes. Yeah, I think. I mean, we're gonna do a, a scene, and I'll say he said while well, jumping up and down, playing the tuba. So you, that. I'll say a line, and you give me an action or whatever. And then you say your line, and then I do it. Then you say your line, I'll give you some fun. <laughs> Next up, characters for good, bad, ugly. Oh. What you got? Oh, so I've been listening to a lot of talk radio lately. You guys know how I love that stuff. <laughs> Limbaugh Jr. over here. <laughs> In my wildest dreams. <laughs> well, okay, so it's it's like a radio host, good advice giver guy. Wait, like a like a crazy talk show host, like Dr. Phil, or maybe like an NPR style character. Shock Jock? N no, more like a like a radio host from like the past and stuff. Oh, like the age of dinosaurs? <laughs> How about like 1940s? You got World War II, Great Depression references. You could be all controversial about the Ice Age. Did prehistoric man even have a spoken language? Ben, just flesh it out during the week and get back to us. Uh, Meg, uh, ugly or bad? Ooh, uh, bad. I will be a uh, an S N an advice columnist for an S and M magazine. S and M. That stands for Shields and Me, right? No, it stands for Sex and more stuff. You idiot. Meg, great. Jason, ugly. Give it to me. Ugly. That, that that's like bizarre, weird advice, right? Yeah. How about a professional wrestler who gives all their advice through, through like, like body slamming people and stuff? Mm -hmm. Why do giraffes have long necks? Great question. Why do giraffes have long necks? Help us out, sir. News from the war front, giraffes have long necks <laughs> so they can reach the trees. <laughs> the trees are tall to avoid the giraffes. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Why do giraffes have long necks? I find, and, and I know because I've, I've been to Africa multiple times for, <laughs> for field work. It's, uh, you know, it's okay. It's somewhat hot. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, why do giraffes have long necks? One time I saw an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Was in the <laughs> we had a tournament <coughs> set up behind a Dairy Queen. <laughs> One guy had another guy in a headlock right. on top of a the, the ice cream, you know, the cart thing that you put on the sidewalk. He was on top of that. The other guy was just dangling in the head, and his neck stretched over <laughs> over this long. <laughs> and when he fell to the ground. He lost the match, but he came away a legend. Wow. So he's got a, well, now he's known maybe as a famous wrestler, like a Mr. Giraffe or something. He, no, they called him Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've been doing improv about 10 years now, and it still weirds people out when I tell them I'm going to go to improv practice. <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's, I try to dodge the question, but it's just so exhausting. I mean, I mean, it seems like the only time I'm actually making things up is when I'm lying about whether I'm making things up. Next game, Jason, you've got sound effects. What are you thinking? Uh, right, so you, you know about those old rotary phones? I don't use phones. Yeah, it's an old phone. Well, my grandmother, I went to her house yesterday, she's got one of those phones. Do you think I could borrow that for something? Yeah, that's fine. Jason, what's the scene about? Imagine when you dial the numbers in, the sound after you do that is different. All right, so instead of like, bring, 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 it's like you're petting a cat. This is why I don't use phones.
specific suggestions that they had written beforehand uh, before each scene at the shows. Uh, they loved me because I was always never made mistakes uh, and, uh, and I never asked questions. Meg, suggestion off? Uh, yeah, that's the one where we do two different scenes using the same suggestion. Okay, great. Uh, so have both scenes been written? Yeah. Uh, the suggestion we need is Jupiter. Uh, first scene is about two kids sent into a space that are adorably naive about the dangers of it. You have to be brave now, Bobby. This is the first time anyone's ever gone to Jupiter. <laughs> so why would they send third graders? <laughs> why would they send third graders? I don't know. And what does expendable mean? <laughs> <laughs> and the second scene is uh, two physics professors uh, debating about the existence of Jupiter that is complete and utter nonsense. I do not believe that we are the only orb in this world. <laughs> you don't believe that we're the only orb in this world. On this orb upon which we stand, you don't believe that we're the only of it. Yes, that is... Extrapolate your theory, sir! <laughs> that was my whole theory, just the one page. <laughs> just the general accusation that eh, there's probably more than one of these. Well... <laughs> Don't have anything about dimensions or whether or not we're like no, two I... orbs on top of each other. I'll we just don't have the right glasses, like I'll... a 3D movie. I really wish that it was possible to just make stuff up and it be funny. But you just can't do it. You know, if improv is really made up on the spot, why would we still have scripted theater? More to the point, that kid in high school, at lunch, why isn't he just, you know, riffing off jokes? He does what everybody else does. Quotes Monty Python lines. And like Fletch. Like Fletch stuff. High school funny is Python and Fletch. That'd be a good name for an improv troupe. All right, last game, four corners. Oh, okay. I've already got all four scenes laid out, and I've even been talking to my friend Daniel. He does improv. He's from out of town, uh, but he'll be there on Friday if uh, if you want him to be like the audience helper. That's fine. Just make sure he's very clear and loud and does not miss his cue. I hate it when we have to wait. Oh, uh, what are your four scenes? Okay, so there's a banana stand mascot. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a, a, a rich man who thinks he's a cat. There's a, a, a high school jock ringer and a lazy French dog walker. Would you think that's like too much of a cat this show? You know, with the whole phone thing? We'll just treat it like a callback, and everything will be all right. Uh, plus, I've, I've already written the scripts, including the parts where he calls switch between the scenes. So... Oh. No, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. The bananas are shaking now. All the bananas are shaking! I'm shaking! That's I... why! All right, look! <laughs> Fine! You can be the banana at the festival. Are you happy? No one will shove you in the locker. 
Can I wear it every day until then? Oh, thank you, Jeeves! This toner shall be my feast! Very good, sir. Will there be anything else? <laughs> oh, maybe some chicken or a liver. <laughs> right here, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a fancy feast it is! <laughs> Coach, I just don't feel like uh, I'm learning anything. I just don't know about football, so I don't think it's for me. You get the ball and you run down the field! <laughs> yeah, I know, but which ball? Which field? <laughs> well, you just take one? I think you got it. <laughs> no, Claude, I... I really don't, and I am struggling. I did not sign up for this, you pushed me into it. <laughs> Look, no one thinks wrestling is real, or, or magic. No one believes in illusions, or, or even cheese whiz. But the real dishonesty is acting like it's all made up right from their heads. What we want to do is we want to bring it into the light. There's no shame in written down comedy. People have been writing jokes since, since they were cavemen. But we want to evolve past that. No more Cro-Magnon comedy. We want to do something new, something fresh, something real. Standing up comedy. Thank you so much,